Welcome everyone. Welcome to Unleash Your Inner Wisdom with Donna. It's an absolute pleasure to see you all here tonight. Hi Katie, how are you doing? A few minutes later I was making a cup of tea and time just got away but my tea was worth it I'm sure. Hi Connie, how are you? So welcome Georgia. Hey, it's lovely to see you guys here. Um, as you come in, please do let me know where you are coming in from. My name is Donna. Uh, for those of you that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, I'm an internationally recognised kinesiologist and I offer free microkinesiology balances every Wednesday night at 8.30 um, on chakras and emotions. So hey Karen, hey Sonia. Um, so please do let me know um, as you come in also what um, balance you prefer. So I'll give you a bit of a rundown on the, the two that I offer for the um, microkinesiology or tune-up balances. So the first one is um, emotions. Um, so an emotional balance, I'll tune into your energy and then we'll go to the traditional Chinese medicine five element chart and we'll have a look at which element, meridian and core emotion is coming up for you for support tonight. We'll dive into that a little bit deeper for you and then offer a balance. And the other option is a chakra balance. Once again, I'll tune into your energy and then um, scan through your chakras for you, let you know which chakras are showing stress. Uh, dive into that one in particular a little bit deeper and then offer you support for that one. So let me have a look here. Hey, Georgia from Coffs Harbour. It's a pleasure to see you. And Connie. Hey, Kerry. Okay, they're moving very quickly. Hey, Terry from Mackay. All right. Hey, Lisa from USA. Welcome. Welcome. And Katie. So please, as you come in, also let me know um, what balance you would like. So Melissa, you're coming in from Deniloquent on holidays. Home is Brizzy. Oh, enjoy your holidays. <laughs> okay. All righty. So hey, Kat from Sunny Coast. Lauren, lovely to see you again. Hey, Simone. All right. Um, so I'll just let you know, I also don't necessarily go in like in order. Um, I do scroll up and down. I do go where I'm guided and um, the posts do move quite quickly. Um, so um, just please do bear with me. So just to let you know, I'm a kinesiologist. I am not offering um, readings um, in this particular live. So just to let you know, I've seen a few comments come in that might indicate that you're sort of looking for that. Um, and by all means, we have um, a number of fabulous um, um, readers. Um, um, Nell is on after me um, and she's amazing. So 9.30 if you're after a reading. Okay, so that's Melanie, sorry. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so... Okay, so Katie, um, if you'd like to let me know, oh, there we go, whatever you're drawn to. Perfect timing, Katie. Okay, so um, what I might do for you, Katie, is um, I'll tune into your energy and then I'll be guided by you um, as to which one works. So with kinesiology, um, you're actually guiding the balance and I'm basically just sort of reading your energy and facilitating sort of, you know, through muscle monitoring Um and so I'll tune in and see what comes up for you. All right. I'm going to have a sip of that tea that I spoke about earlier. Oh, super hot. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Hey, Cheryl. So Katie, just as I tune in, there are certain particular um, acupressure, uh, traditional Chinese medicine acupressure points that I check as I'm tuning into um, your energy, just to make sure that our connection is as strong as possible. So as I'm doing that, I can just getting um, feedback that you're requiring some support through your throat chakra. And thanks, Gina, for sharing. Hey, Tam, how are you doing? Okay. Okay. And Katie, just some additional support for you through your heart chakra.
So it's quite common um, to, you know, to need some extra support as I tune into your energy, just because sometimes like the day-to-day -day rush of life or lockdown, like, um, you know, to opposing things of rushing around and not being able to go anywhere, but they can definitely affect um, your energy and where you're at as we tune in. And so just offering you some support with that as I tune in, just to make sure it's as strong as possible. Okay. All right. And Katty, some, some more support for you through your throat chakra. So if you can please say for me, I am truth. I am truth. Fabulous. Okay. So Katie, just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian. So just in traditional Chinese medicine, the central meridian um, relates to the upper part of the brain, so the cortex, and the governing meridian relates to the lower part of the brain. So we just check in there as well. Fantastic. Okay. So um, Gina, I'm tuned into your energy. So I'm just going to ask... Um, uh, ask you really your subconscious or your innate awareness what balance is going to be best for you tonight so for katie are we working with is it a chakra balance is it chakra is it emotion okay so katie an emotion balance came up for you um they actually both came up for you um but emotion was the priority and with kinesiology we always work with the priority that comes up so I'm just going to go to the traditional Chinese medicine five element chart and we're just going to now have a look at which element meridian and core emotion that's coming up for you for some support tonight so is it fire is it earth is it metal is it water water is it kidney is it bladder okay so Katie we're working with the water element and the bladder meridian so just look at which emotion for you is it fear is it fear is it anxiety okay all right so just as i dive in a little bit deeper um just getting some um your innate awareness is letting me know, Katie, that you needed a bit more extra support. And I've mentioned before, sometimes, um, particularly with emotional balances, um, <clears throat> as I sort of get closer, it'd be like if you fell over and, and, and um, grazed your arm and somebody was like, you know, um, started down here cleaning it and then like, you know, maybe there's gravel or something stuck up there. And as they sort of get to the main part, there's like a bit of cringing, like, oh, no, like, you know, it's going to happen, but like you, the inside is like, oh, and so that's sort of the energetic sort of similarity for you as I'm driving a little bit deeper into that emotional balance for you. And that's why um, I'm getting sort of that awareness for you to offer you more support as I dive deeper. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Courage, inadequacy, inadequacy, confidence. It's in a direction. So, in a direction indicated, but it's not the priority. Patience, frustration. Frustration indicated, but it's not the priority. Just checking in on you. Okay. So, panic indicated, but not the priority. Peace indicated, but again, not the priority for you. I'm coming backwards so that um, it's not so confronting for you. Anxiety. 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 Okay. So, um, Katie, anxiety is coming up for, for you tonight as the core emotion to get some support with. So, we'll just dive a little bit deeper into that for you. So as a kinesiologist, I have a number of different tools around the room that I'll um, tap into and access for you. So um, don't be surprised if you sort of see me, you know, moving around and grabbing things that are off screen. <laughs> so 
Sorry. It's in the past. It's in the present. So, Katie, I'm just in on. Okay. Is it in the past? Is it in the present? Okay. So, um, it's, a, um, it's coming up, the stress around the emotion of anxiety in the present time. So, it could be in the past or it could be into the future, but for you, it's coming up in the present time. Okay. And it's um, the stress around anxiety, it's from another. So, what that means is it's either been projected onto you from somebody else um, or you've taken it on for them. So I'll just see if there's anything that might be hindering you um, from releasing some of that stress around that emotion tonight. Any dynamics? Yeah. Okay. So, um, Katie, we've got an affirmation to say twice. So what's come up for you is some suppression around um, that emotion. And what that can mean is, and it's quite normal, um, as humans, we all have different emotions. We all manage them in different ways just to get by day to day. Um, it's just whether we do this long term where it starts to have a, an impact and effect on our health and our level of chi and flow of energy through our body. Um, so what's come up for you at the moment is some um, suppression um, around that anxiety. So what we want to do is going to say an affirmation twice and that's going to enable us to just recognise it. You don't have to like feel it or anything like that. You just have to recognise it's there so that then we can offer some balance and help release some of that stress tonight. So, um, so if you can say after me, we're going to say it twice. So if you can say after me, it is safe and appropriate for my feelings of anxiety to emerge. So it is safe and appropriate for my feelings of anxiety to emerge. Fantastic. Okay. So um, just checking in, is there anything else that I need to dive into for Katie? No. Am I okay to move on to a balance? All right. Is it, about, is it a chakra balance? Is it chakra? No. Is it an affirmation? Affirmation? Is it ESR points? ESR? Okay, so Katie, what's come up for you to offer you some um, support um, tonight is it's, it's called um, the emotional stress release points and um, this is beneficial for everybody watching the live now um, and I've, I use this and I've taught my kids this. Um, so on our foreheads, if you sort of come up from your nose and out, there's almost like two little bumps so there, if you run your hand across there, you'll sort of feel them come up. And so there's two options. These are our emotional stress release points. Um, and they're used in traditional Chinese medicine to help release the stress and anxiety that we're holding. And that's why it's very common as people, when something goes wrong, and people see people go, oh, damn, because they're subconsciously automatically going for that self-soothe self -soothe option. So you can, if you're not familiar, if you're unsure about where, if you're holding these points right and it's with two fingers that are next to each other to make sure the polarity is right, you can pop the top of your if that's easier. Um, and for you, um, Katie, it came in, the, it was stress around anxiety in the present time. But if you're feeling stress around an emotion that's perhaps related to a past trauma or anything like that, then you would also cup the back of your head as well. So there's acupressure points there. But for you tonight, Katie, just across like that is sufficient. Um, so I just checked. So how long would Katie hold it for? Minutes? Yeah. One, two, three minutes. Okay. So um, Katie, what's come up for you is to hold these um, emotional stress release points. And I think I've also got on my Facebook page, there's a link in the descriptor um, and I've got pictures of some different acupressure points that help support you with different things. Uh, and this is one of them. So if you would like to hold this point for three minutes and just make sure you slow your breathing down, you breathe all the way into your belly, fill your belly up, then fill your lungs and then your chest down and the belly down. Do that for three to four breaths and then just start breathing normally. Don't, don't sort of, you know, try and force it to do a certain way and just hold these points for three minutes. Um, so Katie, I hope that's of benefit for you tonight. And I'm just going to end our connection now.
Wonderful. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, Amy. Okay. So a balance for you, um, Amy. Oh, Katie, you're more than welcome. You're amazing. I'm just accurate. So grateful. Happy to help. Happy to help. Um, and as I mentioned, um, on my Facebook page, there is, um, if you go into the photo section, I whatever, however you get into the Facebook part where the photos are all up, um, besides all the cute animals and things that I love to post and positive affirmations and stuff, there, there will be some um, photos there of particular acupressure points to help with um, stress, anxiety, um, like a range of different ones. I should actually put some more up. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right. So, Amy, so I'm just tuning into your energy now, Amy. So. Wonderful. Okay. So again, Amy, um, just tuning into your energy. So just using traditional Chinese medicine acupressure points just to make sure that our connection is as strong as possible. Okay. So Amy, offering you some support through your throat chakra. Sorry, I offered you some support through another chakra before, but it's just such a habit for me. I forgot to mention that I was doing it for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. And so offering you some support through your heart chakra. And um, Amy offering you some support through your solar plexus chakra. Amy, that chakra, um, it feels, um, like a little bit stuck, like a little bit, like the energy is not moving through it um, as well as like the other ones were. Like if you imagine like a stream and it rains lots and there's like lots of water coming through, that's how the other ones felt. But if you imagine like with the drought, you know, a drought and it dries up a little bit, it's not completely dry, but it's stopped it sort of, it's sort of flowing but not really quite flowing, kind of feels like that. So it might be of benefit for you tonight um, to do a meditation around your solar plexus chakra just to try and um, help that a bit. Um, also, if you have some crystals that are related to the solar plexus chakra, um, that'd be of benefit for you as well. I'm just trying to think, I think, I can't remember if you went to my crystal, um, solar, my crystal chakra workshop if you did, there's a, a book um, that I sent out via email and it has a page there with the essential oils and the crystals that would be really supportive of that chakra for you. Okay. And just offering you some support through your sacral chakra as well. Ah, citrine. Awesome. You've got some. Fabulous. That would be really good for you. Um, so pop that like on your solar plexus chakra. Okay. So sacral is offering support, but it's not like the solar plexus one. Okay, cool. So just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian. Hydration. Fabulous. We are good to go. Okay. So I'm just going to tune into you. Oh, you popped it on. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. 
Okay, so I'm just going to tune into you and see which balance is um, going to be best for you. So I was looking at chakra. Is it chakra? Is it chakra? Okay, is it emotion? It's chakra. Okay, so it's actually um, your innate awareness, uh, your subconscious is actually guiding me towards a chakra balance for you, um, which is not surprising given sort of the um, extra support that you um, that you sort of you needed through your chakras just then. So I'm just going to scan through your chakras and just see where they're sitting at for you. Chakras, chakras. Okay. So crown. So your crown chakra is showing stress, brow, your brow chakra, throat, throat chakra, heart, heart chakra, solar plexus, we know that one, sacral, sacral, and base. Okay. So, um, Amy, they're all coming up for you um, as showing stress. So we're going to see which is the priority one to offer you some balance with tonight. Uh, and with kinesiology, as you would know, we always work with the priority and then it has a flow on effect. But I'll loop back around at the end and just check those other ones for you. So crown, brow, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, base, solar plexus. Okay. So it is the solar plexus that is the priority for you. So I'm glad you've got your citrine crystal there. Um, and we'll dive deeper into that one for you. All right. Does Amy need to say the affirmation? Yes. How many times? Once, twice. Okay. So, Amy, can you please say for me, we're going to say it twice, I am powerful. I am powerful. I love the colour of that heart too, Amy. Okay. Um, so is it the inward expression? Is it the outward expression? So the stress is around the outward expression of the solar plexus chakra. So. So creating boundaries for yourself has indicated some stress for you. A work-life balance is indicating stress for you. So that can be... Um, not just like work life, you know, like in the traditional sense, but it can mean, um, you know, there's different um, aspects of ourselves as people. You know, we've got our emotional, like our emotional health and our spiritual health and our physical health um, and we've got our social well-being with our friends and our family and our connections. So all of these different aspects of yourself, it's just saying they're out of balance and there's some stress around that for you. Okay. So the solar plexus chakra is often referred to as our personal power chakra and that's indicating stress for you for it's about the ego and, the, and our sense of self. It is about our self-esteem and so that indicated some stress for you and a sense of confidence and that indicated for you and also a belief that we have what we need for personal success. Uh, we have what we need for personal success and that indicated for you. So when the solar plexus chakra is out of balance, we can have feelings of low self-esteem, of feeling not good enough, and our confidence can be shaky. So just having a look. So is there, do we need to say an affirmation particularly related to the solar plexus? Okay. So it's just come up for you as well, Amy. Um, find it. Uh, the specific affirmations, particularly for the chakras that I work with. So is it... Is it the top? Is it there? up there? Is it down there? Okay. Is it 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 18. Okay. So, um, how many times? Once. How many times? Once. Once. And does Amy need, uh, Amy need to say it again after tonight, indicate a change of yes? No, just once. Okay, all right. So, Amy, um, we've got an affirmation for you to say. I need you to say it once. It's a long one. Um, so I'll say it slowly if you can repeat it back with me. So I work 
with my understanding of time to facilitate my complete dissension and manifestation into the physical plane. So I work with my understanding of time to facilitate my complete dissension and manifestation into the physical plane. Okay, so we're ready to move on to a balance now. Okay, is the balance a chakra balance? Is it chakra? Heart? Heart? Okay. All right. So, Amy, the balance that's coming up for you is through your heart chakra, and I can feel it. It's like popping candy on my hand. <laughs> it tickles. Um, so sometimes it can be working directly with the chakra that's indicated the stress. Sometimes it's working with a different chakra, uh, and sometimes it's not even a chakra balance at all to offer support um, to a chakra that is highly stressed. So just offering you some support through your heart chakra. So if you can please say for me, I am love. I am love. Okay. So is there anything else? Oh, I'll go back and check. Crown, brow. Throat, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, base. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So let's take a look. Um, tingles. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. All right. So, Amy, I've gone back and checked the other chakras. They're all showing strong. Um, and so I hope that was of benefit for you tonight and um, good luck with everything that you have got coming up. So I'm just going to end our connection now. Fantastic. Okay. So let's have a quick look. Oh, Cheryl, sending a hug, Amy. That's so sweet. Okay, Gina, are you still with me? So Gina, um, wow, the, chop, the uh, comments definitely do move very, very fast. So thank you all very much for your patience. Okay, so Gina, just checking if you're still with me. All right. All right. So Gina. Let me know if you're still here. I will keep looking just in case you're not here. So I can't see Gina. So um, Jason, if you are still here, can you please let me know? So Jason Norman, I just got it. I wrote it down really quickly. I couldn't read my own writing. So Jason, can you please let me know if you would like a balance, which one you would like, and if you are still with us? And I'll just keep scanning and seeing. Okay, so Jason, let me know if you are still here. Uh, in the meantime, uh, keep things moving. Cat, oh, I love your icon. That's really cool. Um, please let me know if you are still here. So Cat, and I'll just keep checking through as well.
Okay. Oh, fabulous. Okay, Kat. Um, and then Sarah Joyce, you are next. Okay. Because um, you indicated before I saw Kat's comment come through. Okay, so um, Sarah, I think you're still around. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So, Kat, I'm going to tune into your energy. I'll just take the little thingy off the screen. Okay. <laughs> So Kat, I'm just tuning into your energy and just using the traditional Chinese medicine uh, points just to tune in to make sure our connection is as strong as possible and just offering you some support through your heart chakra. Oh Gina, I just see your comment come up here. So you're still here? Okay, cool. I'll add you in as well. Okay, so just checking your central meridian and your governing meridian cap. And hydration. Fantastic. Okay, um, so Kat, we are connected and you are after an emotional balance. Fantastic. All right. So moving over to our traditional Chinese medicine five element chart, are we working with fire, earth, metal, water, wood, gallbladder, liver, liver. Okay. Okay. So Kat, we're working with the wood element and the liver meridian for you. So just going through now and narrowing down which specific um, emotion that um, is coming up for support for you tonight. So is it anger, rage, wrath, distressed? Distressed? Okay. So Kat, distressed is coming up for you as the priority emotion to offer you some support with tonight. So we're just going to dive into that one a little bit deeper for you. Okay. Okay, so um, Kat, it's coming up um, as showing stress in the past, but that's not the priority. The priority is um, getting a balance around the stress around distressed in the present time. So that's what we're going to go with. So there's obviously been um, sort of moments throughout your history where there's your body has held on to and recorded um, stress around that particular emotion, which is why I indicated, um, but it's really... Um, aiming me towards offering you some um, support in the present time with the stress around that particular emotion. So, and Kat, what's coming up for you is it stress around the emotion of distressed in the present time and in a situation. So there are things like, uh, so it could be self-generated, it could be projected onto somebody else or taken on from somebody else, but for you it's coming up particularly in relation to a situation. So are there any dynamics? Dynamics? Yeah. Okay. And so, um, Kat, for you, what's coming up? I just had a look to see if there was anything that might be um, sort of hindering you from being able to release some of that stress around that emotion tonight. Uh, and it indicated for you some um, resistance around that emotion. And as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, there are so many different ways that we all manage and deal with emotions it could be resistance or suppression or denial like there's a whole range of things and we all do it um, it's just at some point um, being able to work through that and and not keep it sort of pushed away or, or pushed down so so there's an affirmation that we're going to say twice i'll say it slowly so i surrender into the feeling of distressed for my highest potential so I surrender into the feeling of distressed for
for my highest potential. Okay. So is there anything, um, is there anything extra for cat tonight? Okay, am I okay to move to balance? Fabulous, okay. Is it chakra, is it chakra? Is it uh, affirmation? Is it insight points? Is it, okay, so it's sound. Is it the Tibetan healing ball? Is it the tuning forks? Tuning forks? Okay. So Kat, what's come up for you um, in order to help balance and give you some support around the stress with that emotion at the moment is the tuning forks. So if you could, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Um, if you could please pop down for me in the comments if you're left or right-handed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch very particular traditional Chinese medicine alarm points. Um, or, like you'll see me do the ones up here, but you won't see me do the ones down there um, that are related to specific meridians. And what we're looking for is the cross section of two very, the vibration of two very specific meridians. Um, so I'm just going to have a look at which ones that is for you. Okay, governing, central, lungs, pericardium, heart. Okay, thanks, Kat. So heart meridian will be one of the tuning forks. Governing, central, lung, pericardium, heart, stomach, large intestine, triple heater, small intestine, bladder, liver. Okay. So it's the heart and the liver meridian. So, Kat, while I get those out, if you wouldn't mind getting somewhere comfortable so you can relax and enjoy and just, like, feel that vibration and the sound and really sort of, like, um, relax into it. How many times? Twice. Okay. Is it here? Is it here? Okay. So it'll be two sounds of the um, tuning fork, um, and it will be in particular around your, um, a little bit around the heart, but sort of like from the heart to the solar plexus area um, will be the vibration of the tuning forks. So if you'd like to um, take a nice big breath in for me and then blow it out until you've completely emptied all the air. So push it in, um, run your stomach and just completely exhale every bit of air out. And then take a nice fresh breath in, visualizing green and just um, relax into the sound of the vibration. I can really feel like a kind of unraveling of tension in my stomach. Um, and Kat, you don't have to write, text anything or respond. Um, sometimes as a kinesiologist, I'll sort of feel something and then you might feel it or sometimes I feel it and you might not feel it and either is fine. Okay, so Kat, you requested an emotional balance um, and what came up for you was the wood element, the liver meridian and the emotion of a distressed. Um, and we dove into that a little bit deeper for you. So it was in the present time uh, related to the situation and we said an affirmation to help you um, prepare to be able to release some of that stress. Um, and then to help offer you some support and balance tonight, uh, we were working with the vibration on the tuning forks with the heart and the liver meridian. So Kat, I hope that was helpful for you tonight and I'm just gonna end our connection now.
Fabulous. Okay. All right. So Gina, an emotional balance for you. Tam, I love the tuning forks too. They're gorgeous. <laughs> okay. So Gina um, and Sarah, I haven't forgotten you either. Uh, Sarah Joyce. So you're welcome, Kat. Okay. So um, Gina, I'm just going to tune into your energy now. I'm just going to sip with my tea. Mm, okay. So. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Um. So Gina, I'm just touching the particular acupressure points just to make sure our connection is as strong as possible, and just checking your central and governing meridian. And hydration is all good. We are good to go. Okay. So motion. So fire, earth, metal, lung, lung, large intestine. Okay. So Gina, for you, we're working with the metal element and the large intestine meridian. So just going to scan through and see which particular emotion is coming up for you tonight as a priority. Just checking in on you. <laughs> okay. Is that a difference? Is it letting go? So letting go indicated, but it's not the priority for you. Depression indicated, but it's not coming up as the priority for you tonight. Gina, what's coming up for you tonight as a priority emotion? So quite a few indicators for you um, that were showing stress, um, but it was regret that was showing as the priority emotion for you to get some support with tonight. So we're just going to dive into that a little bit deeper for you. Okay. Is it in the, is it in the past? So I'm just checking in on you. Okay. Is it in the past? Past present so so it's regret in the present moment in relation to a situation so it's not from, from another toward another um, or self-generated specifically in the present time and specifically only related to a um, sort of a distinct situation so is there a dynamic judgment avoidance suppression resistance denial separation okay Okay. And so, Gina, we've got an affirmation to say. So what's come up for you um, is some separation. So you would have um, heard me chat about it before. Um, just, you know, there's many different ways that we um, all manage our emotions and stress around particular emotions. Um, and for you in this particular instance, separation has indicated for you from your, um, I've been guided by your innate awareness. So there's an affirmation. I need to say it once. Okay. Um, we only need to say it once. So it is, I accept, embrace, and unify with the feeling of regret. So I accept, embrace, and unify with the feeling of regret. Okay. So do I need to dive uh, deeper for Gina? No. And I'm ready to move on to a balance. Balance? Okay, indicate change if yes. Indicate change if yes. All right. So moving on to a balance, is it chakras? Is it chakra? Okay. So um, what's indicated for you is a chakra balance, um, and in particular, it's the throat chakra. So can you please say for me, Gina, I am truth. I am truth. I can feel it starting to heat up now. That's good. Cool. 
So Gina, you requested an emo, that's feeling a lot better. So you requested an emotional balance um, and what came up for you? Um, your innate awareness directed me to the wood element, uh, sorry, the metal element rather, the large intestine meridian and um, the emotion of regret. Um, and um, it was in the present time in a situation and we said an affirmation to help you um, release um, sort of any suppression or anything that was holding you back from being able to get support with that tonight and just some support through your throat chakra. Which is all about speaking your truth with compassion and kindness. Okay, so Gina, I hope that was of benefit for you tonight and I'm just going to end our connection now. Wonderful, okay. So for those of you that are just joining, welcome. My name is Donna. I'm an internationally recognized kinesiologist and I offer microkinesiology balances around chakras and emotions every Wednesday night at 8.30 um, Australian Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> so I am coming in from Brisbane. I do offer one-on-one um, -on -one balances via Zoom. Um, so please do feel free to send me a message if you would like, um, if you would like that additional sort of one-on-one -on -one support. So on Zoom, we'll be able to actually see each other and chat in person. Um, and uh, I have also um, listened to feedback and uh, made available appointments for the sort of microkinesiology or tune-up balances as well. Um, so you're able to also book in for those if you're just wanting something similar to what I'm offering on the lives. Um, but um, you're unable to sort of get in because the comments do move pretty quickly. So um, you're welcome, Gina. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, please do feel free to pop over onto my Facebook page and say hello. Uh, the link is in the descriptor. And um, I've got um, lots of information there about meridians and different acupressure points to hold and that kind of thing. Uh, so please do feel free to come over and join our community over there. It's a very cool place to be. <laughs> All right. So Sarah Joyce. Um, Sarah, can you please let me know if you're still here? Um, I did mention before um, that I would offer you a balance and then I saw Gina's comment come up. Um, Okay, so Sarah, if you can please let me know if you are still here, that would be amazing. I'll wait just a little bit for you because um, just to make sure. Yeah, fabulous. I thought you might be. <laughs> and I thought, that's right. I thought I'll just wait a wee bit. Okay. Um, so Sarah, um, sorry to save me scanning because I know that time is of the essence. Uh, I'm going to tune into your energy and while I do that, if you please don't let me mind letting me know if you'd like an emotion or a chakra. I think I read before that you're happy for me to sort of check in with you and see which one um, sort of I'm directed to by your innate awareness and I'm happy to do that too. Um, but if you can just confirm for me which one you want while I tune in. All right. So Sarah, just as I tune in, just offering you some additional support sacral, through your sacral chakra. Sacral chakra. Chakra. No problems. Okay. So just checking your central meridian. And your governing meridian. Fantastic. Okay. And so chakra. No problems. Chakra. Okay. So crown, brow, throat. So your throat chakra indicated, Sarah. Heart. Solar plexus. So your solar plexus chakra indicated. Sacral. Your sacral chakra. Base. And your base chakra. So solar plexus, sacral, and base. Okay. So 
So um, just looking for the priority. So is it throat? Okay. And so it's the throat. Um, it's the throat chakra, Sarah. Uh, I don't know if you prefer to be called Sarah or Sarah Jane. No, Sarah Joyce. No, okay, Sarah. Cool. I thought I saw Jane out the second of my eye then. I was like, oh, I've been calling you the wrong name. <laughs> so sorry. But no, Sarah's good. Okay. So I'm just going to dive deeper into that throat chakra for you and explore that. So does Sarah need to say the affirmation? Yes. Once, twice, three times. So Sarah, um, if you can please say something, we're going to say it three times. So I am truth. I am truth. I am truth. Okay. And uh, is it the inward expression? Are we the stress around? Okay. Okay. So Sarah, just as we dive in a little bit deeper, just coming up a little bit of stress. And ironically, it's your throat chakra that your innate awareness is directing me to to give you some extra support in so that we can dive deeper into the throat chakra for you. So is it the inward expression? Is it the outward expression? Okay. So there's stress around the outward expression of the throat chakra. So is it? So I'll just dive into that a little bit for you. So learning to silence negative inner chatter has come up as a stress for you. And performing daily affirmations has come up as a stress, which means it would be benefit of benefit for you to do that. So the throat chakra relates to our ability to express our authentic self, and that indicated some stress for you, the ability to express your authentic self. It is through this chakra that we convey our deepest self to the world, and that indicated for you. For the expression of creativity, it is intimately related to our ability to ask for what we need, and that indicated stress for you around asking for what you need and to be able to say what we mean. And that also indicated for you, Sarah. So this chakra can become out of balance if we've been shut down. And so that indicated for you. So it's shut down in our attempts to express our needs. So when this chakra is misaligned, we have an inability to say what we need and that indicated for you. We tend to keep secrets that didn't indicate and we tend to believe that others don't care to hear what we truly need and that indicated for you. So um, moving on, are we indicated change if we're ready to move on to a balance for Sarah? Okay, is it a chakra balance? Chakra? Okay. Okay. So Sarah, um, what came up for you tonight? Um, so you were after a chakra balance. So the throat chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the sacral and the base chakra all indicated stress for you. But it was the throat chakra that was the priority. So um, we dove into that deeper for you. So it was an affirmation um, for you to say, uh, which is I am truth. And it was the outward expression of the throat chakra that was indicating stress, particularly around learning to silence um, inner negative chatter, negative inner chatter rather, um, and um, performing daily affirmations would be of benefit for you. Um, and then to offer you some support um, with that tonight is just working directly on that throat chakra for you. So I hope that was of benefit for you tonight. Uh, and what I'll do is just before I end our connection, I'm just going to go back through and check those other chakras for you. So throat, solar plexus, sacral base okay yeah and those other chakras are now showing um no stress so that was for you tonight sarah and i'm just going to end our connection now fantastic okay um so it's been an absolute pleasure to be with you all tonight uh the comments do move quite quickly so thank you very much for your patience and understanding i wish i could get to everybody uh, it would be amazing if i could um but unfortunately that's not quite possible but please do come back next wednesday 8 30 
Um, I'm here every Wednesday at 8.30 offering um, live microkinesiology balances around chakras and emotions. Please do come also over to my Facebook page. The link is in the descriptor. Um, and say hello and check things out there. Have a look around. Um, and if you're interested in booking in for a balance, um, whether it be face-to-face -face if you're local to Brisbane, uh, in Queensland in Australia or if it is Zoom if you um, are not close to Brisbane um, or in Australia either. <laughs> so um, I do have amazing clients from all over the world and I'm very honoured to be able to, um, you know, be able to offer balances face-to-face -face and via Zoom. So I feel very um, privileged to be able to do that, particularly at the moment. Um, there's lots of stress happening all over the world. So I like to be able to help where I can and pay it forward. So it's been an absolute pleasure to be with you all tonight. I wish you all the most amazing week ahead and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 8.30. Take care, everyone. Bye.